We love you. You set the benchmark as far as I'm concerned. You're the pacemaker. And every now and then, I steal something from you. And I don't mind that because it makes me better. It makes Calvary Deliverance better. And it makes the kingdom even much better. When we learn how to support one another, no matter we may be in different areas, but God is still faithful. Seasons, greetings, and welcome to another special edition of Faith Touch. Today, we go through highlights of the 24th pastoral anniversary of our senior pastor, Apostle Falman, and Elder Sophia Ferguson. I am your host, Marissa Maycock. We want to take this moment to say a special thank you for supporting this ministry over the last 24 years. It is our desire that your life will continue to be enriched by the Word. Well, today we will hear excerpts from Dr. Practon Patton of New Birth Deliverance Kingdom Ministries and Bishop Joseph Smith of the Independent Shrive Church of God on the topic of pastor advancing the kingdom of God with grace and peace. Listen, take notes, and be blessed as they share from the word. It's a joy to be in the house of the Lord one more time to celebrate my big, big brother, I mean, I watched this man from a long time. I guess he's one of those who pushed me into ministry. Because the truth is, the humility in him caused you to want to do something different. You don't be like a normal church. You don't be like a normal preacher. You want to be someone who, who's just set, set aside for God to use. And I thank God for what I saw in you. Because I mean, God is touching me in a different way as well. That I don't take this, I'm this, this feeling, I mean this point, for granted. I don't, when I stand on this holy pulpit, it's all about God. We got to mean God with everything in our life, this, this season, people of God. It's not, not about how you look, what degree you have, ain't about that no more. It's all praise to God. But I came here to celebrate with you tonight. And to say, go on from strength to strength. Allow the Lord to push you into place you've never been before and I know because of your humility you'll bring it down to us we come to celebrate what a mighty giant a giant of the man I didn't have to come back and say nothing because I was here just Sunday to share with this wonderful couple and release a word over their life but let me tell you something what a wonderful awesome gift I want to stand and let's celebrate this man and woman of God man 24 years is nothing to play with. And let me tell you why I could come back again and celebrate this man and woman of God again. Because they're integral. Integrity. And Apostle Falman Ferguson and Lady Falman from Rivers of Living Waters. We want to say again, this is the season for the overflow. No, this is the season for the overflow. All I can tell you as the Lord continue from Sunday gone to the Sunday before and the Sunday after and what's going to happen in the next 24, Silver Jubilee. When you enter the year of Silver Jubilee, you thought you built, you thought you done some things in 24 years. At the 25th year, watch what God is about to do. Eyes have not seen, no ears have been heard. 
nor have entered the hearts of man the things what God made prepared for you and your wife and this beautiful ministry. May God continue to richly give you good health and good prosperity in this next season of your life. The Bible says rejoice with them that do rejoice. And today we come just to celebrate with this man of God that is making an impact in our nation. You know, others may make an impact in their area, but very few can make an impact in a nation. And God has anointed you, sir, and God has empowered you so that he can make an impact on a national level so that God's presence and glory could continue to flow within our nation. I bring greetings from our senior pastor, from my bishop, okay, um, Dr. Dave Burrows and his lovely wife, Angela Burrows, as well as my wife is here as well. And also I come as an ambassador bearing gifts. Amen. And we just want to thank God for what you're doing and your lovely wife and the unity and the power of being one. And an example of a man and a woman that served God in the covenant of marriage, as well as in the ministry, as well as doing the work of God. That is a rarity. And the Bible says we ought to give honor, double honor to those that labor among us and sacrifice at such a level because they watch over our souls. May the Lord richly bless you and keep you and continue on. So watch God give you more in 24. I am honored apostle. And I believe God honors you for the stand. Because, you know, sometimes folks have a tendency to take a back seat when someone but God is watching and Bishop I believe as you celebrate this 24 years in ministry the favor of God will overtake you as you move forward for the next 24 years watch God because what you have done and what you continue to do as you offer yourself up to him I congratulate you and I just pray that the favor of God will continue to flow in your life in the ministry and in this church I'm apostle God bless you you have some fine people all right, I, I meet them in different walks of life and they exemplify what it is. So that speaks to your leadership and it speaks to their submission to what it is you, you are giving them. And I want to say on behalf of the great St. Stephen's 364 Carmichael, I want to say to you, the church that I'm privileged to pastor, we want to say to you, man of God, continue to go on with the great work. And I thank God for him because he is a man, like Pastor Lockett said, he is making an impact not only in the community and in New Providence and, and the Bahamas, globally. All right? And I want to say continue to go on. Let God continue to bless both of you. And I don't have to tell you, FM, because they're doing a good job. Continue to undergird your pastor. God bless you. 24 years, please, Apostle, I want you to get this. 24 years means that you are on the road to success. It's just in front of you. After you didn't suffered just a little while. And God is sending a message to it, a message of encouragement. So you can put one foot in front of the other 24 has a lot of energy somebody's i feel energy in this place you ain't seen nothing yet somebody wish you would release the prophetic in this house i declare in this season eyes have not seen ears have not heard nor have it entered into the hearts of men what god
God is about to do. <laughs> I wish somebody is about. I wish somebody could celebrate. <laughs> I hear some people said in the realm of the spirit <laughs> that it is over. <laughs> but God sent me by as a rookie <laughs> to tell you it just begun. <laughs> I wish I had somebody because <laughs> when they think you up in age, <laughs> they think it's over. <laughs> but somebody said this thing get better with age. <laughs> After you then toil just a little while, <laughs> you ain't got to say nothing. <laughs> God will release his glory. God, tell me to tell you, as you advance the kingdom, I'm about to turn your dreams into reality. Somebody said, get, 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 get ready. T.D. Jake said that, but somebody said, get ready. God is about to turn them into reality. As a pastor, you have an awesome responsibility as the, as the commander in chief to lead God's chosen people. If you can advance in this season, apostle, I know it's going to be a, 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 a purposeful way. A purposeful way with meanings, with direction from the Holy Spirit. I wish somebody would look at somebody and say, this is my season to advance the kingdom. No, y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. I said, this is my season to advance the kingdom. Not my kingdom, but the kingdom of you better help me preach. You better help me preach. As kingdom people, we help build the kingdom of God by living righteously. See, he much people want to live righteous. <laughs> He must people won't live holy. You won't live any kind of how. But yet you won't say you're part of the kingdom. I got news for you, baby. If you are not living a righteous life, you are not a part of the kingdom. I don't care how good you dress. As church, we need to move from church members the kingdom citizenship. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna clap because y'all won't be church members. Church members don't know how to behave. Church members don't know how to conduct themselves because you have yet to be kingdomly minded. Church members don't know how to treat their pastors. Church members know how to be disrespectful. But when you see somebody being respectful and honoring their kings, that means they are now citizen of the kingdom. If y'all ain't honoring your king, I come to tell you, change your mindset. You cannot want to be blessed and don't honor your king and your queen. But yet you want a kingdom blessing. How can you get a kingdom blessing when you're not sowing into the kingdom? This is your season. This is your season for the overflow. God, I wish, apostle, I wish you could have grabbed hold of that. I'm prophesying, I'm prophesying. I prophesy men should give into your bosom. Great measure pressed down, shaken together. If I be a man of God, I promise you they'll come from the east. They'll come from the west. They'll come from the north. They'll come from the south. I just heard the spirit of the Lord said, many left you and did not remember you. But God said, I can have them to return and be a blessing to you to the wonderful gems of this great ministry apostle and first lady ferguson who's celebrating 24 years i couldn't miss this tonight uh because apostle and first lady mean so much to me i am always extremely happy to be in this place because one there are many things I admire of Apostle. But the key thing I admire about him when I look at this ministry is he's a man of prayer. You could always tell a fruitful ministry is a man who prays. And so tonight, I salute you, sir, and your wonderful wife and indeed this fine congregation. My prayer is that God will always surround you with men like David, mighty men, who would risk their lives just to bring you a drink of water. That's faithfulness. And I want you to be surrounded with that by people who will always hold your hands up to make sure 
That every time you get tired, they're propping up your hands and causing you to be winning in every battle of your life. Amen, Apostle Lady Ferguson, celebrating 24 years. That's right. Amen. I usually don't do this, but I got to be obedient tonight. The Lord tell me to tell you, Apostle, that somebody is going to come and give you $50,000. Oh, my Lord. Let me say it to hear me. Wow. I don't usually do this. But I was in the bathroom getting yes. ready. Yes, the Lord said that someone is going to come and give you $50,000. He said to tell you that he's well pleased with your work. Wow. Next year, God's going to do a shifting in your ministry. Amen. God say he is proud of the work that you have a heart for the people. Lady Soph, God said next year is going to be great for you. Next year is going to be great for you because you're going to finish strong because God is well pleased. We give God thanks and praise for this time, Apostle, that we celebrate with you. Listen, the best is yet to come. I then passed two minutes. But I want to let you know that me and First Lady New Wine Kingdom Ministry, we know we love you. Amen. We love you, man. And be encouraged and be blessed. God bless you. Good evening, everyone. I'm not going to say much beyond oh, anything concerning that. But if, 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 if pastors um, still have the mindset in 2024, what they have now, then they're missing what the Lord is getting ready to do. If you believe that we're going to go like this, you have been deceived. If you all believe the church is going out like this, you have been deceived. When darkness covers the land and ghost darkness to people, then the Lord, at that moment, at that time, then the Lord will arise on you. That's what he said. And God could never change. So I just want to say congratulations to you, you and, and Sister Sophie. Um, I got a call from my office today, and they said, Sister Sophie called. So I, I, I had to come. Now, if you would call, I'd probably find an excuse when Sister Sophie called. I, I, that was it. When the wife called, that was it. I had to come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm just thankful to be here. My wife and I, we give God thanks as you celebrate 24 years of pastoral ministry. May God continue to bless you. You're looking good. Amen. You're looking good. So we give God thanks and be encouraged. Uh, I just hang my uh, full time up. <laughs> but God is great, man. Listen, be strong. You, you are called to do a work and you're doing an awesome work. So be encouraged. Be strong. It's not going to be easy. But the same God that brought you for 24 years, he's going to take you through. God bless you. Be encouraged. And our prayers be with you. I am indeed delighted to be here in this amazing service. To be with this amazing couple. 24 years. I was there from the beginning. And I am now here 24 years later. I just want to leave three things with you that I have observed from your life over the last 24 years that is helping me in ministry today. Number one, I observed your faithfulness. You've been faithful over the years. People come in UFM and leave. You kept your faithfulness. Number two, I appreciate your fervor. You've never dropped your fervor. Every year you kept going and going and going. The fire still burns. The fire burns so much that you brought your church on Fire Trail Road. And last but not least, you admire your fruit. You have birthed so many sons, so many daughters over the years. You've done so much things in this nation. Your fruit speaks for itself. We're delighted to be here and to and to to join you. 24 years is a quite a long time to be in ministry. 
Apostle, I've never said this to you before. And I want to say this tonight. And I want this to Sophie know that I'm not calling you old. Because I, I am your senior. I will turn 65 next year. But I want to say to you, you have been like a father. When I was in deep trouble, I call on you. And I sat down and listened to you. And you gave me godly wisdom. Amen. And they're, they're, because of men like you and others, I am where I am tonight. Still holding on and still standing. You're doing a wonderful work here at UFM, man. Stay on the wall, man. Don't come down. The Lord is with you. God has called the apostle to advance the kingdom on this side of the earth. On this side of the vineyard. To bring heaven to earth. And to line them up with God's promise here and now. And then he said he's going to do it in grace and in peace. I said, well, my God. Because that tells me that there must be a person you be doing it. It must be some smoothness along the way. And there must be some elegance mixed with it. So a person, it sounds to me that you are one of those leaders that I can see who is accelerating Jesus Christ to the nation with smoothness and without disturbance. That does not mean that you did not have any trouble along the way. It doesn't mean that he didn't have any account encounter with trials and tribulations. But you will endure hardship as a good soldier. As Paul told Timothy, endure hardship. Because if you're running this race, hardship will come. The kingdom of God is found in the person of Jesus Christ. Not in no other human. Not in no other gods. But Jesus Christ. Not Muhammad. But it's in Jesus Christ drawing near to his people so that the kingdom may be advanced. See, the kingdom can only be advanced through Christ Jesus and his people. So the kingdom is advanced in us before it can be advanced through us. You see, we can't advance something that is not in us. We got too much folk around you talking about they are this and that and leading this and that. And no Jesus in them. No anointing in them. No power. How can you advance the kingdom with no power? It amazes me that every corner apostle I pass, we got a bar in a church. So we got a bar in tree church. But where is the power? Are we making disciples? Are we living up to the cause that Jesus called us to do? Jesus Christ in us, the king of glory, desires to set his throne his lordship with our lives as we walk in faith, obedience, and perfect submission of his will for our lives. Everything flows forth from intimacy. Intimacy. And relationship with who? Our Lord. We have to be intimate with our Lord. We have to have a relationship with our Lord. If there is no relationship, there is no intimacy. And so does the kingdom of God. The kingdom comes alive within a person when there is a desire to know the king. How can you, if you don't know the king, how can you be in the kingdom? Some folk want to be in the kingdom, but they don't know the king of glory. Romans 14 and 17 says, for the kingdom of God is not meat or drink. Oh, hallelujah. But righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost is what we need. It is furthering God's righteousness in every aspect of human experience, in every aspect of life, and every institution. So that tells me that there must be an urgency to advance this kingdom. Huh? That's why the apostle have the urgency to advance this kingdom at UFLI. He understands the urgency. I didn't see how you're in the room. You know the urgency of adding souls to the kingdom. 
know that you were created to love God and love others. That's why God created you and I. And, and you were created to do what God, has to, what God has told you to do. He said, make disciples of all nations. Go ye therefore and make disciples. That's a command from God. If we advance in the kingdom, we have to take, take that command. Because God loved us and saved us. And God loves people and people matter to God. Doesn't matter how they look. Doesn't matter how they dress. It doesn't matter how they smell. It doesn't matter where they've been. God loves people. And if people matter to God, then they should matter to us. What an awesome time we had in the house. If this ministry has been a blessing in your life, we encourage you to visit us at www.ufmi.org and sow a seed of any amount. On behalf of our senior pastor, Apostle Falman, and Elder Sophia Ferguson, we invite you to join us this month in worship at 9 a.m. every Sunday under the declaration, This Year We Are Walking in Uncommon Victories. We also invite you to join us in our Christmas production entitled The Glory Train, Thursday, December 14th at 7 p.m. Bring the entire family. We'd love the opportunity to connect with you. Well, yes, indeed, this is the Yuletide season and United Faith Ministries International is headed to Grand Bahama. December 21st, Operation Christmas, Grand Bahama is on the way from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Listen, if you'd like to partner with us in this initiative, whether via seed or volunteering, we ask that you give our office a call at 341-0502 or on our mobile device at 427 when the I becomes we amazing things happen well thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast join us next time on faith touch and remember this is our year of uncommon victories walk in it be blessed a man of God congratulations to you what an honor it has been down through the years to see the progress in your life and how you've been able to navigate through much. And to see that, it warms my heart. It warms my heart because I've been close enough to, um, to get a, a sense of your heartbeat. And when you use the word integrity, it, it is so closely aligned with. There's very few people that have been around that want to get it right. And I believe, sir, that that is you and your precious wife. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare, may the sudden lease of God now begin to move. move. Lord, even as they've been declaring down through the years, Amos 9 and verse 13, and Lord God, that, the, that, that suddenly things are going to happen. It's going to happen so fast that it will cause the head to spin. I thank you that that season, that dimensional thrust is now upon them. And in the name of Jesus, the Christ, the anointed one, let every door be open. Every door, every door of opportunity, every door of access, every door that you need to go through, may it be open. I command in the name of Jesus, open doors to you. Open doors to declare. Open doors to walk on stages. Open doors um, for influence. Open doors um, for great grace. Open doors um, for power. Open doors for financial um, breakthrough and release. Open doors. Thank you for listening to our program today. For prayer, counseling, or encouragement, please call us 341-0502. Send us an email united.faith at yahoo.com or like us on Facebook United Faith Ministries International we would be delighted to hear from you wishing to join us meet us at our sanctuary at number 126 Fire Trail Road East every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. for our morning glory worship service and 10.30 a.m. for our divine worship service for all other service times and broadcast schedules please visit our website www.ufmi.org On behalf of our senior pastor Apostle Falman Ferguson and the family of United Faith Ministries International thank you for sharing with us 
Join us next week right here on this station and may the word of God richly dwell in you.